And just like that, the final episode of the recording session has begun. Welcome back to Undertale. I'm your host, Meg Shadow. If it's a second video, it's like a commentary. It's weird having the final episode on a Wednesday, isn't it? If you're a bit confused, um, as I said, um, because of Thanksgiving, I was, um, uh, I'm going to be gone for the weeks so after recording an extra episode and everything. That's kind of why, uh, the previous episode was shorter than it normally is, because I normally make Monday episodes a bit longer. Uh, without further ado, though, let's go ahead and continue. How did you like that episode, ladies and gentlemen, the previous one? That should be interesting. And without further ado, let's go to continue. Do you want to join me? Yeah, sure. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. We'll, sit, we'll just lie down for like 30 seconds. Why don't we, ladies and gentlemen? Just, just to humor them. Da ba la ba la 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 uh, uh, uh. What the heck? What the heck is going on right now? This is... This is something, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what's going on. And honestly, I don't care. All I know is that the universe... This is some trippy stuff right now, ladies and gentlemen. Like, this game, like, we just, like... Like, the game was weird, right? It started out trippy, and then it got just, like, funny and weird. Now we're just on some, like, trippy stuff again. What is going on? Let's, let's give it a second. Let's just listen to the music. Yeah, I said that. The, I said that I imagine that this section is probably going to be one of the more memorable, memorable ones. One of the ones that I'll be talking about like forever. Like you know, at way after I finish this series, way when I'm like seventy thousand years old. I imagine. I wasn't kidding. This is a really interesting thing. Let's go to move. That was weird. Well, that was nice. Thank you. What the heck was that, man? Let's go inside of your house. It's locked. I figured as much. So we just beat, just beat the crap. Oh, okay. Hey, it's a ghost. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day, and now it's just some merry guy that shows up once a month. Okay. This snail is counting dollar bills. That's a snail? Sure. Snail, snail, I mean, obviously, you, know, you might say, oh, well, yeah, of course it's a snail, it's a snail farm. I just thought it was just some random guy. Oh, wait a minute. I think I, okay. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So snail with Sam Boyle. <laughs> Sam Boyle, huh? I've been looking overdue for a second house. <sighs> this game. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Why don't we pour some salt on them and then eat them, eh? Why don't we do that, ladies and gentlemen? The winner is Rocky! Do you wanna play do you wanna play a game? It's called Thunder Snow. The snails will race, and if the yellow wins, you win. It's ten gold to play, sure. Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage the snow. Okay, sure. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh What? What? Are you? Huh? Did I did I did I do it too much? What a scam! Are you kidding? Oh, looks like you and oh I see you encourage your Stella too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh, let's try that again. You want to play again? Okay. Yeah, this is like that episode of Spongebob. Okay. I thought like we were supposed to just like mash it. No, okay, we have to be a bit more graceful now. Okay, press C repeatedly to get your snow. Ready? 
Alright, this is gonna be like the chow race, huh? Uh... Did that... I think encouraging him actually slows him down a bit. Maybe. Yeah, it's slowing him down. Yeah, it's literally slowing him down. So, what I need to do is not encourage him at all. Let's see what happens if we don't encourage him at all, ladies and gentlemen. I know, like, I know this episode isn't, like, super eventful, but I don't know. We just, we gotta get all the side stuff out of the way, because I doubt that I'm gonna, like, play through the game again for, like, a genocide or, or anything. Grayson. Oh, you both tried your best, but the snow looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. Mm. Okay, one more time. Do you want to play a game? Let's see what happens if we don't actually, um, we don't actually encourage her. Okay. Okay, press Z repeat and encourage her snow. Three, two, one. You got this, man! Yeah, just wait, you're just gonna go supersonic! Everybody supersonic racing, that is so off-key! I mean, like, I, I sing bad on purpose on these videos, of course, but, like, I don't try to, like, sing off-key on bro. Oh, actually, yes, I do, but I don't know. Go! Go! This is a scam. This is a scam. This is the biggest scam in the world! Are you kidding me? There, there's prob- there's- there probably is, like, a need- there probably is a way to actually, like, do this effectively, I just don't know what it is. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh... Alright, let's go. Let's see here, what do we have to do this time? Go down here? What's down here, I wonder? Oh, Roku, Kapasopa. You feel a calm and tranquility. You're filled with determination. Been a while since I said that on video, hasn't it, ladies? And, hasn't it been, ladies and gentlemen? Okay. There's the thingy. What's far off here? I want to go over here first. What's in here? I don't want to miss. Oh, it's a set. Whoa, there! I got some neat junk for sale. Ha! I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it! Though, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, that Timmy Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember! I should give him the grandpappy Victor Kuda voice! Let's talk a bit. About yourself. I've been around a long time, maybe too long! Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself! <laughs> that emblem. Eh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom, the kingdom of monsters! <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I always say, Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans! Emblems meaning new? That emblem actually predates written history! The original meaning has been lost to time! All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below and the wing circle above symbolizes... ...something else! Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy! Oh yeah, the prophecy! Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom! Lately, the people have been talking a bleaker out- taking a bleaker outlook! I feel like I'm actually not doing the Victor Kudo voice properly. Call that wing circle the angel of death! A heartbreaker of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm! In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat! <laughs> the, the, the laugh just got even silly. The laugh just got sillier and sillier. Like, first, the first one is, like, really bad. And then it just got worse and worse and worse. <laughs> King Fluffy Buns, he's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy! If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him! He loves to walk around and talk to people! Eh? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story! I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have to remember by then! About Undyne. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here! 
Though gr through grit and determination alone, she let she fought her way to the top of the royal guard. Actually, she just came through her asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch her back and and buy some items. It might just save your hide. <laughs> Yeah, we already have items though, so that's all right. Let's exit. Hold on! No, hold on. Do you have it? Crab apples. That's it. I was told that if we find a person with, uh, looks like a crab, if we find a person who has crab apples, just buy as many of these as we can. That's what I was told from a friend. So that means that we're gonna come into like a really tough enemy, I imagine. Okay, let's leave. It's a good thing I remember that. Thank goodness. Be careful out there, kid! Let's go ahead and save. Why don't we? Why don't we? Why don't we save, ladies and gentlemen? You feel a common tranquility. You feel determination. Ha! I don't know why I just randomly go to the goat on foes, but it doesn't matter. Ha! Blacker than a moonless night. Hotter and more bitter than hell itself. That is coffee. There's nothing here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. What if I talk like this for the entire video? That'd be kind of weird, wouldn't it? I don't know. Sometimes in life, you just gotta drink some hot coffee. Sometimes you gotta drink it cold. But every now and then, you just gotta know that you gotta get through the bitterness. And that'll give you the satisfactory in the end. What do we have here? Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of the greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the sill, but only beings with powerful soul can leave. With a powerful soul, I should say. There is only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power equivalent to, equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Seven something something, huh? Hurt, beaten, fearful of our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of the greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the sill, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. Which is a human. So, let's go across. But this cursed place has no entrance or ex exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Or so you say. What is this? Special enemy, Timmy appears here to defeat you! Hey, Timmy! Uh, let's feed him, let's feed her flakes. Timmy only wants to, only wants the Timmy flakes. No, so hungry! What? 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 I am so confused right now. What? What? Timmy's trying to glomp you. Not yet. Uh... Talk. You say hello to Timmy. Hi, I'm Timmy! What the heck? Okay. That is some nonsense. Timmy's doing her hairs. Okay, now we can, now we can, uh, spare her. There you go. You won, you're in zero XP and zero gold. I like her for some reason. I don't know why. He just seems nice. Like a nice individual. Sure, she tried to kill us, but, you know, she seems nice. All you have to do is talk to her, anyway. Yes, this music is... I keep saying, oh, this music is so into... Because, I don't know. Like, it's just such a different move from what we just came from. We don't actually have to do anything to these guys, they just... What? Mosmo is having quiet time. What happened to the- what is with this guy? Actually, we just flirt with these guys, right? You wiggle your hips suddenly? <laughs> yes, I know that was a really weird voice. I don't care. Okay. Oh, what am I supposed to do, man? Uh... Unhug. Lie down. You lie down. Mobug lies down too. Mobug understands life now. That's probably really annoying to listen to, isn't it? At least I do like at least I do like bass boosters, and then ah, I'm just gonna flee. At least I do stuff to so that like those really high pitched sounds don't come out like super piercing. Hmm. Oh, we can actually go regardless. It seems. I see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So let's turn this back off. So this is like a puzzle, huh? Maybe? 
Yeah, we're just gonna flee. Because we don't it's, we don't have time for this. Ain't nobody got time for that. As they say. Here we go. Okay, so this so this path actually just legitimately ends off, huh? Hmm. But there's a way from the top, perhaps, huh? Perhaps that's the case, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder. I wonder. No, we can't go that way. Ah, there we go. Using our brain for once. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember when that was a thing, ladies and gentlemen, like three years ago? The internet, the internet hit it in ways I don't know why I just randomly went into this accent, but okay. Hmm, is this the way that we're supposed to go, or I don't know? It's progressively getting darker and darker, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder what's over here. But... Perhaps it's best that I don't know what's over there. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you guys, man. <laughs> Screw that. I wonder if we actually, I wonder if we actually, like, lose... If we actually, like, lose points for, like, escaping instead of sparing them, I don't know. I don't know. Why am I saying- why am I saying points, I wonder? That's where we came from, right? Okay, let's get that light back. What does this say? Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Oh... Use these crystals, follow the crystals, and they won't lead you astray. Maybe. This is a pain in the butt, ladies and gentlemen. This really is! Hey, Timmy! We're just gonna flee, though. Because, honestly, I don't feel like... My health is pretty low as it is. I don't want to use any health items. Let's go this way. Oh, so there's actually a path to the right, huh? Interesting. Okay, so I remember, so that, so up here is where we should go. Look, man, I don't want to fight you! Leave me alone! Sure, we're gonna get like a Vice the Coward title or something, but I don't care. Let's go this way. Hmm. There's a path here. I wonder if this will lead to where we need to go. I don't think so, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think so. Whoa, for a second, like, I saw, like, the red light from my microphone on the screen, because, like, it's black, so, like, it's kind of reflective right now. And, like, that kind of spooked me for a second. I was like, whoa, what the heck are those red eyes? Nope, it was just me being silly. What's this? Nothing. Oh. There was, like, a path here. Hey, how are we supposed to get out of here, ladies and gentlemen? Look, I don't want to fight you! This is why I don't like random encounters. I have never been a fan of them. I don't think I ever will be a fan of random encounters. Yeah, this looks like a completely dead end, huh? And this leads to... What's up here? I wonder. I wonder. Okay, yeah, this is the path that we went to before, but like it's like a dead end on either side, right? Maybe? Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. That leads there. Up here, then. No, that's a dead end. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, I think. Leave me alone! Man. I think we're I think we're out of the woods, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that was a pain in the butt. Okay. It's so dark. Where's the next save station? I wonder. Oh, there's a gossip thing. Behind you. Ah, oh, come on! Don't do this to me, game! Hey, 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 hey! Seven. Seven human souls. Is, is this uh, un Undying? I wonder. Or Undying? I'm Undying. Undying. Um. Ooh, what voice? Well, actually, shut up. I feel like we should actually give it. Like, even though it's a girl, I feel like. Until we see what's underneath the watchmaker, we'll give him the Godot voice just because. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asquare Dreamor, will become a god. 
With that power, this is really silly. Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity. And give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human. This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul. Or I'll tear it from your body. Hey! Um... Undying! I'll help you fight! Yo! You did it! Undying is right in front of you! You got front row seats to our fight! Wait... Who is she fighting? Hey! <laughs> Dragging them by the ear, too. You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Sh okay. Sure. We'll go with it. Is there... What are we gonna do? You aren't gonna tell my... You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who said behind you, then? Was that just some, like, kid just trying to be... Just trying to pull a prank or something? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh- Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it! Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return. And the underground will go empty. I wonder if we're that angel. Might be kind of predictable. Oh, another one of these! Really? I see where this is going. Yo! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it! Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kinda stink at that. <laughs> yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? Uh, sure. Huh? Yo, that's your idea of something mean? My sister says that to me all the time! Guess I have to do it. <laughs> Yo, I I hate your guts. Man, I I'm such a turd. I'm I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> what Yo, wait! Help! I tripped! I'll help you. Unless Undyne just decides to do something. Look, I don't want to make this episode too long here. What are you standing around here for? Get over here, dude. What are you saying? Okay, get over here, dude. Okay, here we go. You, you, yo, dude. If, if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to go through me first. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies is just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Alright. Later, dude. Later, dude. Okay, where's the save station? Can I get a save station, please? Game. Save. A lot has happened, and I demand to save. Oh my goodness! Can I please just end off the episode? Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. 
Yeah, math. Understand. Through, through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as if customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No, you know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? No! Nah! Nope, now that her mass is gone, um... You! <laughs> You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams! All this is history, but have me think of humans more compassionate! But you? You're just a remorseless criminal! You wander through the caverns, attacking anyone in your path! Self-defense? Please! You didn't kill them because you had to! You killed them because it was easy for you! Because it was fun for you! Do you think it was fun when I found out? Do you think it's fun when people's family members never come home? Is that fun? No! But your time's up, villain! You won't hurt anyone else! A knight in shining armor has appeared! And all the pain you inflicted on this, on the fallen, every hope, every dream you've turned to dust, she's gone to sin right back through her spear. No! Nah! I'll show you how to turn a monster's truly are. Come on, step forward and let's end this. Oh, now I can end things off. Good. Save. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Yes, please. Now let's go to end things off here, ladies and gentlemen. So if you like this video or this series of videos, please feel free to leave a like. If, if you thought it was cool, please feel free to subscribe and join Team Strawberry today. Also follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Megan Shut Abyss. Oh, excuse me. I'll be sure to leave that in the description. In the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and this is Megan Shut Abyss signing out. Bye!